Pedestrians and cyclists that use the Pepper Road gate will need to pick up new passes. Details on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, changes in quarantine rules at CYS Child Care. Military One Source offers tax assistance. And three on three basketball teams needed for a tournament at a Wizards game. These stories and more, but first, at this week's installation, Town Hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland started with the latest on COVID numbers and improving transmission rates in the surrounding community. As of this morning, we were seeing, for all five of the surrounding counties, we were seeing substantial transmission rates, which is somewhere mostly in the neighborhoods of 60 to 80 cases um, uh, per 100,000 average over the, last, uh, over the last seven days. That is good news. Things are heading in the right direction. Is it good enough you, news for me to make some decisions about moving it to, to a different HPCon level quite yet? No, it's not quite that good news yet, uh, but everything is heading in that direction. There's um, much more on COVID, housing, and child care. Watch the town hall in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. In other news, a note from the Vehicle Control Center. Pedestrians and bicyclists that use the Pepper Road gate must pick up new passes. The current passes expire at the end of February. You can turn in the old one and pick up the new one at entrance C. That's at the rear of building 4215. Call 301-677-1064 for more information. Elsewhere, because of the pandemic, the Fort Meade Tax Assistance Center has only been able to offer virtual tax assistance to active duty service members the last couple of years. An alternative for those looking for assistance may want to look at Military One Source's MILTAX suite of free tax services. A DOD benefit, MILTAX includes free tax return preparation and e-filing. In addition, the MILTAX software was developed specifically with military life in mind. It addresses deployments, combat and training pay, housing and rentals, multi-state filing, and more. It also offers free access to consultants versed in recent changes to tax law and the nuances of filing taxes for the military. For more, go to militaryonesource.mil. In news from MWR, Child and Youth Services, with guidance from public health officials and the Centers for Disease Control, have reduced the quarantine time for school-aged children that have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus. Uh, we've been able to reduce the uh, quarantine period from where it previously was 14 days down to a potential of being only five days. Um, it's a little complicated, but we have all the guidance on our, uh, both our website and our uh, Facebook page, Meet CYS, so you can read it and see it for yourself. Uh, we'll also email that information out to all of our patrons. Uh, so by the time they see this, they would have received it in their email. And it's a good, uh, good guide to kind of just, you know, at a glance read how you get to that place of five days. Jameson added that the reduction in quarantine time for preschool age children is a little different. It's going to remain uh, a little longer than that. It's not going to be the 14 days, it's going to go down to 10 days and that's because, uh, I cannot stress this enough, at that age group, six weeks to five years of age, they're just not able to wear masks continuously. You know, they take their mask off to eat, they take their mask off uh, to, to uh, sleep. Uh, and they're just two and three year olds, so they take their mask off uh, throughout the day. So the decision was made to keep everyone safe in that regard is to go with the, the 10 day quarantine period versus going to uh, another uh, period. The Army Intelligence and Security Command is sponsoring the next Fort Meade Tech Expo. It's coming up Wednesday, February 16th from 9 to 1 at Club Meade. It's an in-person event in compliance with COVID-19 guidelines. The expo is an opportunity for personnel and leadership to view and educate themselves on emerging technology solutions. Advanced registration is highly recommended. Go to www.militaryexpos.com slash Fort Meade slash attend. In sports news, Chaplain Captain Ryan Pierce from the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion sent us this this week. He's looking for three-on-three -three basketball teams to participate in a mini-tournament that will be played at the home of the Washington Wizards Capital One Arena. The tournament is scheduled to begin Wednesday, March 16th at 1 p.m. before the Wizards Nuggets game at 7. Use the QR code on the bottom left to purchase discounted tickets to the tournament and the game. And use the QR code on the bottom right if you have a team ready to accept the challenge. For more information, you can contact Chaplain Pierce at 706-566-9386. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. <music>